Hi guys, my name is Shurujit De and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometrix De. Today I am going to teach you class 6 mathematics. So without wasting further time, let's start the class. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. So students, today we will do class 6 mathematics and the name of the chapter is perimeter and area, chapter 15, okay. So previously we have done two classes, okay, part 1 and part 2. Those who have not watched that part 1 and part 2 of this chapter, you please watch it so that you can understand more nicely. I have shared the link in the description below, okay. Now we will do today exercise 15.1, exercise 15.1 and today we are going to solve question number 2, okay. So you write down the question, I will also write down and then we will start, okay. Now I have written the question, question number 2. Find the perimeter of the following rectangles, okay. And 2a, the first question is length is equal to 25 centimeter and breadth is equal to 15 centimeter. So, they are talking about rectangles. So, we must draw a rectangle first. So, if I want to do the solution, so first I will draw one rectangle. So, this is the rectangle and the big side, okay, longer side is called the length and the smaller side is called the breadth. So, length is told how much? 25 centimeter, breadth is told 15 centimeter, okay. So, now I can write here below this is a rectangle and then I will write L is equal to length is equal to okay 25 centimeter clear then i will write b that is small b is equal to breadth is equal to 15 centimeter therefore perimeter of the rectangle you can write directly rectangle or if you want to give a name to this rectangle, okay, you can give, suppose if I give a name P, Q, R, S, okay. So, you can write P, Q, R, S. This is optional. You can write, you may not write also, okay. So, what will be the formula? 2 into length plus breadth unit. So, you are learning one formula, okay. How to find out the perimeter of a rectangle and the formula is 2 into length plus breadth unit. So, now I will put the values 2 into length is how much? 25 plus breadth is how much? 15 and then centimeter. So, what you get? 2 into now 25 and 15, you can do here rough 25, 15. So, what you will get? 5, 5, 10, 1 carry, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 40 centimeter and ultimately you will get the answer, 80 centimeter. So, this is the answer. Clear? Now, question number 2 B, okay. So, what they are telling in the question? length is equal to 3.6 meter and breadth is equal to 260 centimeter. Now, here one thing you have to understand that length is expressed in meter and the breadth is expressed in centimeter. Both the values are expressed differently. So, when it is expressed differently, we have to make it same, okay. The unit has to be same. Either you convert it 
into centimeter both or you convert it into meter clear now we will write answer first we will draw one rectangle and length is told how much 3.6 meter breadth is told 260 centimeter okay now the first sum number a i wrote the statement uh, little bit lengthy okay now in a short way also you can write you can write l is equal to 3.6 meter now from meter I will convert it into centimeter. So 1 meter means how much centimeter? 100 centimeter. So we will multiply. So 3.6 into 100. So 0, 0 cross again 0, 0 again double cross 1, 6 is a 6, 1, 3 is a 3. Now I will add it 0, 0. 6, 3. Now, after point, only one digit. So, the point will be from here after one number. So, what you get? 360 centimeter. Breadth B is what? 260 centimeter. Okay. Now, I will find out the perimeter. Therefore, perimeter, perimeter of the rectangle i am not writing the name okay simple way 2 into length plus breadth unit like this also you can do okay so 2 into length is what 360 plus breadth is what 260 clear and the unit will be what centimeter now 2 into, okay. Now we will add this to, so how much? Uh, 260, another one is 360. 0, 6 plus 6, 12, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what you get? 620 centimeter, okay. Now we will multiply, okay. 620 into 2. 2 0s are 0, 2 2s are 4, 2 6s are 12. So, what you get? 1, 2, 4, 0 centimeter. And this is the answer. Clear? Now, question number 2C. So, what is the question? Length is 19 meter and breadth is 14 meter. So, first of all, we will draw the rectangle. Okay small one length 19 meter breadth 14 meter clear and we will start the answer we will write l is equal to 19 meter b is equal to 14 meter very easy okay now we will find out the perimeter therefore perimeter of the rectangle perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth unit. So, 2 into length is how much? 19 plus breadth is 14 and it is meter. So, 2 into now 19 and 14 we will add 19 plus 14 in the rough you must add. 9 plus 4, 13 and 1, 2, 3, 33 meter, okay. And now I will multiply 33, 33 into 2, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 3 is a 6. So, 66 meter and this is the answer. I think you have all understood, write it down in your copy, pause the video, okay. If you like my channel, then please give a like, share it with your friends and subscribe it. And don't forget to press the all notification bell so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications. 
okay now question number 2d let's read the question length is equal to 46 meter and breadth is equal to 25 meter okay so let us solve it we will write first answer after that we will draw one rectangle because we are finding out the perimeter of the rectangle and we will write here length is how much 46 meter and breadth is how much 25 meter so this same thing we will write here l is equal to 46 meter b is equal to 25 meter it is very important to draw the diagrams it will help you in your future okay because you will come to know how the shapes looks like okay now therefore perimeter of rectangle equal to 2 into length plus breadth unit. Now, 2 into length is how much? 46 plus breadth is how much? 25 and then we will write meter. So, 2 into, now this 2 I will add 46 and 25, 6 plus 5, 11, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, what you get? 71 meter. And when you multiply 71 into 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 sevens are 14. So, 142 meter. Clear? So, this is the answer. Those who have not watched the previous videos of class 6 that is part 1 and part 2 you should watch it okay and this is part 3 the rest sums that is sum number 3 after this we will do in the next part okay that is part 4 so thank you for watching my video keep smiling take care bye bye